Today I'm going to show you how you can more easily uh, make advanced macros for Cubase on Oendo. Um, because it's kind of commonly known that it's a little bit buggy and not the most effective way to do use the built-in macro editor for Cubase on Oendo. And uh, the program that I use for this, it's called Soundflow. And uh, just before I start, then I want to note that uh, in order to use the setup in Soundflow, you need uh, the ski remote installed. And you do that by clicking plus and then uh, there, I already have one. And then disable uh, authentication. Um, and then to create a macro, you click new in Soundflow and macro and test Cubase. And then you click add action. And then you search for Cubase and select perform action. Now, when I click here, I get all the, uh, every single key command available within Cubase I get here. And the cool thing is I can actually search, uh, also search uh, without it being in the correct order, so to speak. Uh, left locator and then you can see here I could uh, say insert into project at left locator and then uh, I add another one oh, and uh, let's just uh, cycle then I can say something like uh, cycle selection actually i'm think it's called loop yeah select and loop um and as you can see here i can click on one and i can move them around so i can make uh, super long ones like this one uh, here i added some weight just to be sure that everything happened correctly uh, you can do that by search weight and then you can type in how long, how many milliseconds. And let's add a last one. Uh, play from selection start. And then to add a trigger, we say keyboard and then uh, we choose the apps we want the trigger to work in if you don't want it in every app and then you click the key command you want and that's it so that's another way to uh, create advanced macros